How does the question, does everyone get a fair trial, influence my own study and what should I be aware of as a student? So the question influences your study um, because again it poses another question which gets you to be more critical for the criminal justice system and to not just accept things for sort of what they are. The question about you know being a fair trial and the criminal justice system is sort of exactly what criminology represents so being critical assessing things highlighting the strengths and the weaknesses um, looking for methods or ways that society can be better and can improve and specifically looking at the ways that the criminal justice system can improve. How does the article called Most Judges Believe the Criminal Justice System Suffers from Racism from the National Judicial College reflect your own teachings and what students learn on the University of Law courses? So the article reflects my teaching because it highlights the structural inequalities that individuals face um, based on their position within society. So just by having that darker pigmentation of skin colour, you could be treated differently um, and receive a harsher punishment. And even if you don't receive a harsher punishment, it's that idea of being stereotyped. So someone believing something about you um, without knowing you as a person, your backstory, and that sort of, that doesn't sit right. Um, and it reflects what students learn because we look and sort of discuss the types of crimes that are policed more, who's more likely to be policed and stopped. Um, so yeah, who's more likely to be stopped and searched, who's more likely to receive longer sentences. Um, you know, who's more distrustful of the criminal justice system and some of the different reasons for that. So it fits into this bigger picture of the criminal justice system and what it represents, um, who it affects and who it's failing. Music